As we've just seen, it was a thrilling weekend in the capital and many have commented on just how good the field was for the HSBC Golf Championship. Tiger Woods drew in the crowds as well as Rory McIlroy and Luke Donald. Tom Bushell was there chatting to the players about Abu Dhabi and the year to come. The European Tour is off and running for 2012 after tournaments in South Africa and now Abu Dhabi. The race to Dubai sees three competitions in the Middle East with the capital's HSBC Golf Championship getting things underway. England's Robert Rock held off pressure from McElroy and Woods to claim his second pro victory. He admitted, though, he was nervous during a shaky 18th. Then I had that long putt to, to two putt and... I really didn't have a clue how hard I was hitting it. I just hoped that it would turn out okay. I was pretty sure the line was all right, but I was uh, shaking a bit by then. So it was nice to see it finish just a few inches away. World number one Luke Donald had a disappointing week, but it's confident things will pick up. Well, obviously a little disappointed with the scores. Um, but, uh, you know, my game actually felt like it wasn't too far away. This is kind of a course where if you're just a little bit off, it can uh, kind of um, can, can eat you up a little bit. And... Um, you know, uh, coupled with a little bit off on my driving and, and not holding as many putts as I usually do, uh, it wasn't that far away. So uh, it was a good, uh, you know, shake the rust off, uh, get a couple of weeks to, to work on it and I'll be back in L.A. 2012 is set to be a big year for golf. The Ryder Cup takes place in September and European captain Jose Maria Olothobo is looking forward to the challenge. Despite being off the pace this weekend, he is a fan of Fabi Dabi. The crowds have been uh, astonishing. Uh, it's true that uh, the field this year is is extremely good. Uh, we do have, you know, the top players in the world: uh, Tiger, you know, Rory, you know, all the Luke, uh, Lee. I mean, it's a bunch of players here this week that uh, make this field really strong, and I think the crowds appreciated that, and that's that's why they came uh, so strong. Some of the players giving you a bit of a headache ahead of uh, choosing that Ryder Cup team for this year? No, no. It's, it's early days. I mean, as I said before, uh, you know, it's still eight months to go ahead. Uh, it's true that, uh, you know, some of the players, uh, you know, uh, are doing uh, the homework. Uh, some others are not playing all that well. But uh, as I said, I mean, there is uh, big tournaments to be played uh, and things can change. Luke Donald played his first two rounds with Tiger Woods. During the Dubai World Championship in December, Donald explained how he once had no ambition to be number one in the world due to the press coverage the likes of Tiger received. But did the world number one enjoy playing with the former world beater? It was fun. You know, I think uh, I always enjoyed playing with great players and, you know, he's obviously uh, probably the greatest player in, in my era. Um, you know, his record speaks for itself. But, uh, you know, I've played with Tiger a bunch of times and, you know, the more you play it, the more you play with him, the more you kind of get used to the, the fanfare that comes with it. But uh, no, it was fun playing with him and Roy. For the eventual winner, playing with a giant like Woods wasn't so simple. But it's, it's difficult playing with Tiger. You expect almost every shot to, to threaten to go in. So um, it felt a lot of pressure and couldn't afford any lapses in concentration at all. So it felt a hard work, but... Very happy now. Robert Rock, only nine years ago, was working in a golf shop and with this win breaks into the top 60 in the world. If he gets to the top 50, he'll qualify for the Masters. Whereas Rock will now be enjoying his success back in the UK at home, the desert swing continues in Qatar. Then it's back to the UAE in February with the Desert Classic at Emirates Golf Club. Tom Bushell, 7 National News.